Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hi there everyone and welcome back to another lesson. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a drop-down menu in Excel. Drop-down menus are very convenient to use and they help you update the statuses of your tasks almost instantly. So let's get started and learn how to create one. So the first step is that you create a key for yourself which you're going to use to create the drop-down menu. Now the options that you offer in the drop-down menu are entirely dependent upon the type of tasks that you make. In my case, I will be going to sheet two where I have created my key. There will be three options that I will be offering in the drop-down menu which are complete, incomplete and in progress. The second step is that you select all those cells in which you want the drop-down menu to occur. In my case, it's going to be cell D6 till D12. Once you have selected it, you go to the tab of data, then go to the section of data tools and go to data validation. When you click on data validation, you have a pop-up that appears like this. In here, you got to select a list and you got to give a source for it that where is the whole list being taken from. So in this way, you're going to go to sheet two because our key is on sheet two. You're going to select all the cells which are needed and click on OK. That is how simple drop down menus can be made. And now you're going to see that every cell that we had selected has a drop down menu sign coming with it. So once I click on it, I'll have all the three options. I can select any one of them and update the status. The next thing is that it can be pretty hard for you to go look at a long list of complete, incomplete, and in progress if they are not colored. So now I'm going to show you how you can color these box for each one of these options. Let's go with complete first. Let's say Mr. Hassan from marketing has completed his task. And I want that every time I click complete, the box turns green. So for this, for the cell to turn green, I have to add conditional formatting. For that, you got to go to the home tab, then go to the section of styles and click on conditional formatting. Then select highlight cell rules and go to text that contains. Once you click on it, a drop down like this occurs and here, it asks you that what sort of data do you think is required for which which sort of formatting will be done. You can go on and custom format anything you like, but since I have the option in front of me for green fill with dark green text, I'm going to select this one and we're good to go. Click on OK and the job is done. Now, if the option is incomplete, I want the color to turn red. So I'm going to repeat the same process. Go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, go to text that contains, and in here I want it to be filled red, which is perfectly fine. I click on OK and this is done. Last option that we have left is in progress. For in progress, I want something yellowish or orangish. So for that, I go to conditional formatting again, repeat the same series of steps, but this time I'll select a yellowish option, something like that and the job is done. So now every time I click on complete, the cell is going to turn green. I click on incomplete, the cell will turn red. And the same way when I click in progress, it's going to turn yellow. Bring about the same box for all of my options and the job is done. So next time for Mr. Asad, I click on complete, it's going to turn green. For Miss Sandy, incomplete, reddish. And for Mr. Miss Murph from finance should be in progress and the job is done. I hope you liked the video and you have learned a lot from it. This is very convenient. Do use this for making your status updates the easiest. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.